welcome to Steve and Nina show. I wanted to show you our grandsons were so excited. Um, and we were too. Let me turn you around and show you what I'm talking about. The green beans came up. We got three rows of them. If you can see them all the way down there or not, but all the way down. They came up really, really good. Yep. Tomatoes and everything is doing really, really good. We're, we're thankful for that. I wanted to tell you, um, well, I'll show you the little chicky here. These are the, the Buff or Orpington. Look how pretty she is. We have two of those. Must be a chicky in here having laying an egg. Let me see if I can get this moved up. Oh yeah, we got a couple in there. One in here. Oh man, and they stepped and broke the one. Silly girls. Oh well. They're big old feet. <laughs> And then I got, I think I showed you these, but my potatoes all came up. Not all of them yet, but most of them. I got to get here and get the weeds cleaned out of here. And the thing that I was really talking about is these two chickens. Well, they just ran when they seen me coming. They're in the shadow, so there they are. All right, these are the um, Australorps. I honestly believe that they are both, the two black ones, they're both roosters. One of them was crowing today. Um, not sure which one. My grandson, I heard it, and my youngest grandson came over here and sat down on this seat so he could see, and yep, one of them was crowing. Now I know, I just looked it up, the redder that the um the redder that their comb and waddle are um usually the males are like that and one of them does have a little bit more of a red than the other but not much so yeah i'm i'm thinking they could possibly both be roosters so uh, if they are I'm going to see if I can um, find them a good home. They're beautiful roosters or chickens. Um, they've got, and I don't think you can tell, and I really wish that I could. Let me see if I can zoom up. Nope, that's not going to help you at all. They're so black that they have a green shine to them. They're just, it's really pretty. But anyway, yeah, we're going to have to find at least one of them a good home, possibly both of them. And then I'll put the uh, little girl over in with the other chickens here real soon. And she is the Issa Brown. And she'll be fine. Show you how pretty that looks. So pretty. Beautiful yellow. And Steve just got through putting around that beautiful bush that my sister bought me. I'm just trying to think. I think it was called a Dapple Willow. D A P P L E Willow. So pretty. Every time I thought about turning the uh, phone on, to do a video our neighbors down below started mowing the yard <laughs> so I I just thought well might as well look how beautiful the ferns are those are huge now okay so Steve and I were just out here talking 
we're probably, I'm believing that both of the black ones, like I said, are going to be roosters or all roosters. And the other one will probably put her in with the babies until they're all a little bit bigger. And then we'll put them all in with the girls. That way we can put this coop and the one that we made. We're just going to store them over there behind the building, cover them up, and that way we'll have part of our yard back. I wanted to show you too, this is that table that is, uh, used to belong to my grandma, and it's in really bad shape. She always used it outside to put her flowers and stuff on, the way that I've got here. And uh, today, our oldest grandson sat down there and had his computer on the table and did his schooling out here. I thought, how cool, sitting at his great, great grandmother's old table. I took some pictures of him. I thought that was really neat. I also tell you guys that we had um, the grandkids all out here today and the baby, she has one of those extra saucer things that someone is letting us use it. And, uh, you know, it's got the little bottom on it so her little feet doesn't get, you know, on the ground. And uh, she can turn all the way around with different little fun activities to do. So we had her out here where I'm sitting at. And um, the sun was kind of peeking through the trees, but not enough to bring a lot of warmth. You know, it was about 1 o'clock, noon, noon, yeah, 1230 maybe. But anyway, um, I had her little jacket on her and her little hood, and she loved it. She loves being outside. I said, oh, you're like your Grammy. And uh, she would just look and smile, and, and she was watching the birds, and Steve was over filling up the, the bird feeders, and all kinds of birds were coming around. I was really surprised because we were all out here today, and the boys were learning about different birds and how the females and the males are so much different. And uh, there's a cardinal just flew up uh, right by my head. And I was, oh, I'm talking about cardinals. I was telling them how beautiful the male cardinals are, uh, how bright red they are and the females are not. And Curtis thought that was the funniest thing. And I said, you know what? That's kind of not fair because um, a lot of the male species and animals and everything are so much better looking than the women. And he just laughed. He thought that was cool. Uh, but it is true. If you watch a lot of different animals and stuff, yeah, you'll find that that to be very, very true. It just flew up somewhere. I thought it was up in the tree, but there was actually two over there. Um, now, if you guys don't watch uh, channels, a channel called um, Out West Homestead, and it's got, I almost forgot the name because I just go by their names, um, Bill and Susie. She has a, they live in New Mexico in the desert, and uh, they, she, her and her husband made a sanctuary, she calls it. Um, they made it years ago, I guess, and they just now redid it again, and it's got lots, well, her husband put up lots of uh, fencing and stuff like that to keep the sun now and keep it cool, and they have this little, um, <laughs> they am laughing at all these birds, they have this little, um, water fountain and at the end of her video she's been trying to film the birds in that going to that water fountain and uh, they'll take their baths and get drinks and I'm telling you I absolutely love watching that so if you guys haven't checked them out I'll try my best to put a link below and uh, check them out if you want to see some birds from New Mexico some of them I have never seen before and they're beautiful um, there's a nest over here I'll show you. I'll turn you around and show you here. And the cardinal was just over there peeking in it. So I haven't seen any birds at it. Steve said he thinks they're already raised and gone. But maybe that's what the cardinal was looking for to see if there was anything in it and there's not. So, all right, let me turn you around. All right, see the nest there? Every year, even though that one might get pulled down, every year something builds a nest there in that little ladder that's, that's always hanging there. <laughs> kind of funny. 
So anyway, talking about um, Susie and Bill's place there, I told Steve, I said, I need a, a little water fountain or a bird bath or something back here in my little spot that I love to sit in. You know, I've got my seed and uh, the things to keep mosquitoes away and some flowers and stuff. And, I, and our bird feeders are on the other side. And I said, so we need something for the birds to take baths in and get drinks of water. Um, I don't know, we, we went out looking, but they're not cheap, especially the ones that are heavy duty that would last you. And uh, I don't want to order nothing like that from like Amazon. Of course, I would have free shipping because we do have the um, Prime. So, hmm. might have to look on there and see if they got something on there. But yeah, I enjoy sitting back here and a lot of things going on in the world right now have, I get upset about stuff so easy. And I'm trying my best not to because it's not good for my heart. It's not good for anybody. Um, but I told Steve a, a little bit ago, I said, you know, I haven't been on social media hardly at all lately. I can't stand seeing all the posts, you know, all of the disagreements and all of the, the bickering back and forth. And yeah, I do believe in standing up for what you believe in. I do. But the older I get, the more I realize that I, I just can't do that stuff anymore. And not to be, not to be um, callous or for you guys to think that I don't care about stuff because I do. I think I care too much and I take it all to heart and I don't, it's just, I don't forget it. It just rolls through my head over and over and over. So I told him the more that I can get outside in nature, the more that I can be around the animals and stuff and just piddle around in the yard, the better that I feel and the, the less stress I feel on my life. So yeah, that's, I haven't been watching TV at all. I haven't watched TV, oh my goodness, probably a week, at least a week, maybe two weeks now, getting close to it. Um, nothing has caught my eye. I haven't wanted to watch. Now I, I take that back. I watched um, the latest Honey Boo Boo. I can't even think of the real name of it, only to find out if they're, if their mom got put in jail yet or not but yeah I haven't been interested in anything and I don't want to watch the news that's I do not um, I don't I don't want to dwell on it things are happening and they're gonna just keep happening and you know we just we can take a stand sure we can we can protect ourselves um, I believe in all that but to constantly have it on my mind no I don't want to do that I just really don't I want to be able to sit out here and enjoy um, the beauty nature the stuff that God gave us you know <laughs> I was just looking down you can see my big star here and for some reason it feels like it's almost pulled apart some and uh, I'm not sure I mean it's not gonna pull apart it's healed but um, it's still raw feeling it still hurts and um, when I look at that or feel the pain or whatever in it I think to myself there's nothing worth going through that again so I'm gonna try my best to keep my stress level down as low as possible and if that takes not watching TV or the news then so be it um, if it takes staying off of social media, so be it. That's what I'll do. Making my videos for you guys, I enjoy doing that. And I feel like I can get on here and, and voice my opinion and and um, not be judged so harshly as sometimes the world will judge. Um, sometimes you, you find out who people really are in a time like this. So instead of arguments... I'll just stay out here with my puppy and my chickens and my sweet hubby. He's in the house right now, but listen to the birds. Life is way too short, as you guys all know, to get caught up in the drama and with things going on in the world. I wish I could fix them, but I can't. 
that I can't. So I can pray about it and that's about all I can do. And I don't want to have it on my brain constantly. So that's why I've been coming outside and sitting on my swing. We got one down at the other end of the yard and this one here. I get tired of sitting one way and looking at one side of the yard. <laughs> I just come up to this side and, and sit up here for a while. So my camera, uh, those of you that you might not know, some of you might, I finally got me a um, video camera and we Steve ordered it for me. And it should be here um, in a few more days. So that's exciting. And talking about that, um, June 4th is Steve's birthday. He'll be 57. And he was almost, he turned 50 right before, no, right after. He, matter of fact, he was still in the hospital when he had his transplant. So God blessed him with another seven years so far and counting. Um, so yeah, he'll be 57 on the 4th and I'll put our um, PO box below. If you guys want to send him a birthday card, I know he would be thrilled and we'll do a video of him opening the ones that you guys send. So, um, that would be cool. And if it's a couple days late because it's already the first, don't worry about it. We'll wait until maybe a couple days after and go to the PO box and check it and have him, uh, Look at his cards for everybody to see. It's been kicking my butt. That's all I can say. It has been kicking my butt. My hands and, I mean, everywhere. I laid down last night and just groaned in pain. I took a couple Tylenol. I can't take anything else um, like uh, ibuprofen because that affects my medication for my heart. So um, Steve was like, are you all right? And I said, oh, I'm just hurting literally from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet and that was no lie so i woke up this morning at six o'clock and i still had a headache and was still hurting everywhere um i looked up for my feet and i honestly think the bottoms of my feet are um are bruised I'm not sure why got a chicken laying an egg it's awful late in the day but um yeah, I think they're bruised. I don't think that it is the, like a, a bunion or, you know, anything like that. Not a, and the one where you have to have the surgery, and I'm sorry, you not you guys know how my brain is. Sometimes it doesn't work. But anyway, I think that they're actually bruised. My heel, especially on my left foot, the one that's been swollen. And uh, so it's hard to walk. And I've been using my cane a whole lot for that. And if it gets worse, I guess I might have to end up getting that walker back out. I'm not ashamed to use whatever I uh, need to do to, you know, get around the yard and and help out, you know, all that I can. So, so when I hurt like that and I have a lot of that on my mind, I try my best to think positive thoughts. And I, I do. I try my very best. And some days it's not easy. <laughs> but, um... What's the matter? Oh, barking at one of the chickens. Let me go see what's up. That's what's up. The neighbor's chicken's back here again. Yep. It's over there hiding behind. It goes over there and eats the food that they scratch up out of there. Oh, every one of them went up inside. They, they don't like it being around. I think it's... It's a hen, but I don't know. It might be a rooster, but he's awful little. I'm not sure why he's letting that one run loose, but none of the others. Huh. Hey, Miss Willow. Were you telling that chicken to go home, sissy? Huh? Willow. Look at my mom. Will Will. Nope, she's keeping an eye over there off of here. I'm going to go in there and check on Steve, see what he's up to. And Miss Willow is, I think she's wanting to go in. You want to go in the house? So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow and take care and God bless.